بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسٹارٹ ود دا نیم آف اللہ ہو از دا موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسیفل السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ یو ہوپ یو ول بی فٹ اینڈ فائن ان دس پینڈیمک سچویشن آئی ایم یور انگلش ٹیچر مس صفیہ بلو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ لیسن نمبر ٹو شاہ عبد اللطیف ویل گرلس وی آل are Muslim and our religion is Islam and you know very well that Islam is the religion of peace for spreading Islam God sent the Prophet he won people's hearts by his kind nature and gentle ways his noble example was followed by many of his followers all over the world It was through the efforts of these saintly men that Islam is spread far and wide. In every part of our country, there are shrines of such saints. Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai is one of them. The great Sufi saint Shah Abdul Latif, lovingly called La Latif, was born in 1102 Hijra in a small village called Hala Haveli. Shah Abdul Latif's ancestors migrated from Hijrat to Sin during the days of Tamerlan. His father's name was Sayyid Habib Shah. Shah Abdul Latif's nature. Shah Abdul Latif had a very sensitive mind. His heart was filled with the love of God. While he was only a boy, He started composing poetry. He was also keen on acquiring knowledge and grew up to be a scholar of Arabic and Persian. Latif's life. When he was 20, he married a noble and a good lady. He showed great kindness to his wife and lived at home for many years. After his father's death, Shah Abdul Latif left his home and went to live on a mound called Bhit in Sindhi. Due to this, he came to be known as a saint of Bhit. So, he is famous all over the country as Shah Abdul Latif Bhitai or Shah Latif of the Mount. As days passed, Latif's love of God grew more and more until he found pleasure only in devotion. He spent most of his time in prayers. People began to be attracted towards him and his followers increased day by day. There was a natural lake near the mound. He loved its calm atmosphere. and he spent much of his time sitting on the bank of this lake. Shah Abdul Latif was not only a saint and a poet, but also a musician. He loved simplicity in music and musical instruments. He invented a simple musical instrument called Tamburo. Lal Latif died in 1165 Hijra and buried on the mount. A famous king of Sin, Hulam Shah Kalhoro, built a shrine over his grave. Latif's devotees collected his poetry and this collection came to be called Risalo of Shah Abdul Latif. The collection of his poet poems has been translated into many languages. One great quality of Latif's poetry besides its simplicity is its moving music. Latif's Urs is held at his shrine every year on 14th Safar, the second month of Islamic calendar. Latif's message is a message of love. He believed in the brotherhood and equality of man and in pleasing God by good deeds. This according to him 
is the goal of life. Well, students, we have done our lesson. There were some difficult words. Let's have a glance on them. The first word is acquire. Its English meaning is get. And Urdu meaning is hasil karna. The second one word is bank. Its English meaning, meaning is margin, kinara. The third one is blessing. It means God's favor, rahmat. Fourth one is bari. Means entomb, dafan karna. Fifth one is devotion. Means dedication, lagao. Another is grave, peril place, cover. Second last is keen, means eager. It means gehari, mashak. The last one is tamarind. It means Mongolian ruler of Samarkand. Means ki ek fate jisne Turki se Mongolia tak ke ilake hoy fata kiye. Temur ka time. Okay, girls. Thank you for listening. Allah Hafiz.